Welcome to another video on essay writing. Today we're looking at an aspect of structure. Before we begin, it might be helpful to say, this is my structure. I don't mean I own this structure, simply that there are many ways of structuring an essay, and this way is a way that I find helpful, and you might as well. As the introduction is a crucial first step in your essay structure, we're going to spend this video thinking through how to write a good introduction. In my opinion, a good introduction needs to have the answer, the criteria, and then the outline of the essay in that order. What do I mean by this? Well, let's start with the first part, the answer. The type of answer you give will depend entirely on the question that's asked, but usually it's a judgment or an assessment, or it's the results of an analysis you've done, or perhaps it's to what extent a statement is accurate in the question. Regardless of this, I think it is most helpful to give this judgment or analysis or assessment straight away. I mean, the first sentence you write. There are a couple of reasons for this. One is, the marker is under no illusion that you have provided a judgment. It's literally the first thing they've read. The other one is about the way we talk. If I was to ask you what your favourite movie was, if you were to give the criteria first, your answer would be, well, you know, I look for a good mix of action and suspense and a strong storyline and some kind of character development, so therefore maybe The Shawshank Redemption. Or you could say, and I think most people say this, Shawshank Redemption, because I like character development, strong storyline, action and suspense. So while you could do it in a different order, I feel answer, criteria, outline just flows better. What do I mean by criteria? Well simply put, your criteria is what you are going to use to make your assessment or your judgement. The criteria you use is based on the question. Really there are two types of questions. The first where there's no criteria given, so maybe just assess X. The second is when the criteria is in the question. From a military point of view, how successful was X? If you aren't given criteria, this is where you need to say, this is the criteria I will use. If you are, well then you need to say, this is how I intend to use the criteria you've given me. Once you've done that, it's time to outline. Put simply, the outline is the supporting examples or evidence you've got to show which prove that your judgement is right. I think it's best to have your outline in order so that the order which you have in your intro is the order in which you present it in the essay. So in short form, your intro would look like this, judgment criteria, supporting example A, B and C. And once it becomes your essay, you've got intro, paragraph with example A expanded, then B, C, then conclusion. Let's finish with an actual example. If I was asked the question, assess the reign of a certain ruler. I would answer, this rule's reign was very successful. The assessment of a reign should look at its long-term positive impacts. And if that's the criteria, will this ruler improve roads for trade, standardise currency and tariffs, and lead political reform? All things which led to positive impacts. So that's how I suggest you structure introductions. Why? Follow that structure and you're saying to the marker, this is the answer, this is how I came up with it, and this is why it's right. Mic drop. Writing essays with Mr. Wimble.